Hello and welcome to channel. In today's video we make repaint for this very worn out crawler body. This G-Made has been used for a year now and the paint surface has been starting to peel for a reason that I will explain in a moment. But this time I'm trying to do things right so there shouldn't be any more peeling. So the reason why the paint surface isn't durable is that I use a Tamiwa TS paints without primer. A beginner's mistake. TS paints are intended primarily for painting plastic models, but you can also use it on Lexan under certain conditions. Lexan, plastic, aren't the same? Well, at least not for the paints. If you are going to use TS paints on Lexan, you have to prime it first, and I will show later which primer I use. But let's start the video first by removing the parts and stickers, and if you liked the video or thought it was useful, please hit that like button. Now enjoy the vid! Before sanding I use isopropanol to clean the glue off the surface of the body. After that I did a light dry sanding on the body. Plastic putty was used to patch the holes in the roof. After the preparations it was time to start taping the windows. After I had finished the protections, it was time to prime the Lexan cell. For priming, I used Maston's plastic primer. The drying time is very short, and the primer can be painted over after about 15 minutes. After the primer, I prepare the roof of the car for painting. After the roof, it's time to paint the rest of the part. After many layers, this is what it looks like. The next step would be make a digital camo paint. The very first thing I designed was the Digicamo with the Affinity Designer. After that I printed the designs with Silhouette Portrait 3 vinyl cutter. The material I used for printing was stencil material with very light adhesive surface. And this is what the very first Digicamo color looks like. And the next two colors were also painted with the same principle. Tip, it's good to remove stencil after about 15 and maximum of 30 minutes after painting. Then the edge of the pattern will not tear. I painted the pattern with fair amount of paint, without drying in between. This is now the last color before I start painting the texts. I think the patterns work out very well and now we can move on to the next step. So this is the stage where the vinyl cutter really comes in handy. Look at that precision, at least with my hand you can't make such a precise trace. Once again a fair amount of paint. The end result is just, just really great. Next I started preparing to paint the side stripes and the back panel. I 
I used silver colored Revel enamel paint for the painting, which will be the base color for the black stripe. Next, I installed the mask on the back panel. For the silver side stripe, a 2 mm wide masking tape must be installed on the sides. After that, the mask areas are painted over with the black rebel enamel paint. Its purpose is to create black outlines on silver areas. Next, it's time to paint the star on the hood. In this painting too, I use a sticker stencil made with a vinyl cutter. Also, this time I will finish the painting once. End result is pretty good. The next step was to finish the paint surface, and for that I used Tamiwa semi gloss varnish. Its main function is to protect the paint surface, but it also gives a nice shine at the same time. So far, it's looking pretty good. Next, let's move on the taillights, which I'm going to paint red. I use a Rebel translucent red paint to paint the taillights. The next step is to paint the black outlines of the rear lights, but before that they need to be masked. I will paint the reverse lights on the tail lights, and rebel white enamel paint was used for it. Okay. Then let's move on to painting the silver moldings on the back windows. I used the same Revel silver colored enamel paint to paint them. For masking I used Tamiwa's masking tape used for masking curves. The silver stripes are intended to be painted only on the rear side windows. Finally, black outlines have to be painted on the windows. Once again, I use Tamiwa's flexible masking tape for the mask. Because the curves are tight, I practically have to cut the exact places with a knife. And finally, I painted the outlines with Revel black enamel paint. The last step before assembly was to paint the black outlines on the doors and the hood. Because my hand is not very steady, I used Tamiwa's flexible masking tape to help. I used a regular permanent marker to draw the black outlines. It might not be best for the color, but I didn't really have anything else at that moment. Masking tape really helps to draw the straight lines. At the very end I designed and 3D printed the running board and the tailgate handle. I think it adds realism quite nicely. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. And hopefully you learn something new too. 
So thanks for watching and see you again in the next video. Peace out.